Atlanta, Georgia. This is the National Football League. It don't matter where we go. It don't matter where we stay tonight. Cause when I'm with you, yeah, I know. Everything will be alright. It don't matter what we say. Marcus Mariota and the Atlanta Falcons. Taking on Jameis Winston and the New Orleans Saints. First open in 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. A moment ago, here was the scene. The Falcons coming out from their tunnel to the roar of all the folks here in Atlanta. We're ready for football as these Falcons get set to match up with the New Orleans Saints.
should open up this running game too. They go play action. Winston. Finding Taysom Hill complete. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit, do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing, they're going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? If, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. So first and ten now from the 30. On play action, Winston. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking themselves and expressing. Let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. That took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Winston. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Jameis again. And he's got it. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Beautiful throw right there on third down, and it looked like this was going to be six points, but a nice touchdown saving tackle at the end of this. Even still, this offense is knocking on the door now with a first and goal at the one. See if they can do better here. 
here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely surged out that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So a costly penalty yardage-wise is that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. Following the penalty, it's Williams. Demario Davis there on the stop. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Working with second and five now. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On third and one, here's Mariota. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Shotgun, it's Mariota. And he's gonna have to eat this one as down he goes. Cameron Jordan so tough to block as he gets in there to record the sack. Hey, was it a breakdown of protection? Did the running back not pick it? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Mariota. Under pressure, they got him again. Cameron Jordan picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays and give you an advantage. How about right here? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the, like, hit the like button. Hit the little bell so you never miss any notification. Hit the red subscribe button. Always stay positive and have, have a nice day, y'all. Peace out.